good morning, night from a good vibe, and we are so excited to have this episode of the Timmy F Show Season 6. It's going to be a sizzling more night at dapat handa na mga kagaya ko, kagaya mo, at kagaya natin lahat na merong... Insomnia! Ano ulit? Insomnia! Hot mama, step aside kasi it's time for us to list down the hottest dads naman. Fatherhood made these men hotter and even more attractive. This is the DILF edition or DILF edition of Yap Dates Reloaded. Sabi nila, good girls always go for the bad boys at wala nang masahak pa sa original bad boy ng Philippine cinema na si Robin Padilla. He is most definitely the ultimate man's man in a certified gentleman at that. Hot dad number 7 is Robin Padilla. Bagay na bagay sa kanya ang ini-endorse niyang pansit kanton dahil super spicy pa rin ang hot na dad na si Edu Manzano. Siyempre! Hot din ang anak niya si Luis. Oo, pero di pa dad si Luis. So, di siya kasama sa list. Alam ko, gusto ko lang i-mention na hot din si Luis. Hashtag may masabi lang. <laughs> he just like fine wine dahil he only gets better with age. Iba pa rin ang pagka-charming ni Bossing. Four kids that are all adults now plus a hot girlfriend. Walang counter evidence na hindi hot dad. Ibig Soto. Tsaka, ang generous pa niya. Hot na hot. Hot na noon pa at proven dahil siya nga ang original na machete at most in demand leading man ng mga sexy films noong dekada 90. Ngayon ay hot pa rin si Garda Versosa at hot na hot din siyang mag-post ng pictures ng baby niyang si Daiti. Lalong naging hot and sexy si Paolo Avellino nung naging daddy siya ni Ethan Akio. His physique and his image change after fatherhood and we are not complaining at all. <laughs> if there was any worry na masisira ang image ni Richard Gutierrez nung sinabi na nila ang tungkol kay Baby Zion, wala na ito ngayon. Certified hot dada si Richard Gutierrez who is such a doting father to Baby Zion. Yan ang batang pinagpala ng tadhana pagdating sa looks. <laughs> and our last hot dad for the top 10 list I see Dennis Trillo. This hot dad to son Calix Andreas is one athletic actor. He bikes, runs, and boxes, and he also loves playing with Calix. So hot. <laughs> yep, makes definitely not a dad, but absolutely hot. Our guest for tonight is an amazing host, top, top model, and inspiration to all the girls in the Philippines and around Asia. Former Channel B DJ Joey Mead sleeps in bed with us tonight here at the Tim Yap Show Season 6. Share your mga hotness meter reading to you. Join the convo and use the hashtag the Tim Yap Show Season 6 and tag us on Twitter and Instagram at official Tim Yap. Ito na, sabay-sabay natin sabihin, ikaw, na hashtag ka na ba? So our guest for tonight, well, the world needs more people like her. She, aside from being a top model, she's also an animal rights activist, a children's welfare activist. She's an activist. Let's all be activists and give a big warm round of love for Joey Mead King. Hi, Tim. Hey, Joe. Russell, you're model watching. Thank you. Welcome well, to Thank model you. Mentor herself. <laughs> Jojo, Thank you, and Rasa. not to mention the Nina of Juanita the Cat. Oh, yes, that's right. right. <laughs> Did you tell them the story about Juanita when I called you from Singapore? Exactly. See, Joey was about to host at a Cartier event. You know, she was backstage. 
when she saw the post that I said I had just adopted a cat uh, from the street. Wow, see Joey. Hello, Tim. Do you know she's about her hair is about one one inch, so she's about this in her old. So you should feed her this. You should. Oh, what are you doing now? Go to my house. Go to my house now and get this milk. Yes, and I go. Oh, as you're about to go on stage, uh, but without your maternal guidance for uh, Juanita the cat, I don't think we would have been have been able to, you know, uh, raise her this well. She has so thank other, you for that. You're welcome. She has also other ninangs too. Other you Just have you and Margarita Forest. <laughs> two, uh, you know, two of the super big, biggest hearted human beings I know, <laughs> especially for animals. Well, I have... Eight already. That was that last my eight? count. Eight, eight pusa pins. Pusa. Oh, I like wow. calling them pusa pins instead of um, uh, pusang kalye. Mm -hmm. So I just prefer pusa pin is more respectful. And same goes for pusa pins for the for the cats. Yeah, pusa ka, pusang kalye for our friends. <laughs> same for aspin instead of asong kalye. Aspin, you know, yes. asong finoy. Um, but I have eight, so when I saw your photo, I knew already that this one is probably only two week, two or three weeks old, so she's not going to be able to eat um, solid foods. That's why you're so funny. But Joe, I got her milk. Do not give her normal milk! She I needs got, kitten milk! I, said, I got the milk with Judian's face on it. <laughs> no, that's for human babies. Mm. Um, but yes, like that's something I don't know why, but I've become quite a professional on and people often ask me for advice on how to take care of, of, of young kittens and, and stuff. It's a Facebook, pag ka merong biglang nagkuha ng pusa, bag, ikaw ang nakatag kagad. Yes, it's true. I do get mm. tagged or they just tag me with their family um, pictures. It's, I'm really... I'm, with their family with, pictures? With, with, with the animals. And then there's some really strange pictures I'm tagged with, but that's another segment altogether. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's become something that I'm I'm quite knowledgeable about. Hence why I've become an advocate for paws, and also I'm an advocate for their black cats wow. because we're trying to get rid of the stigma that malas. Yeah, malas yung black cat, but that's not. I mean, hello. I mean, what's the year? It's 2000 and something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't know when you're gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna hear 2017, so put it with fresh. Just trying to be safe for your edits. <laughs> Was well, 2015. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> so all of that, you know, black cat superstition is passe, and we're trying to promote that black cat. Do you cat think? Uh, where are some of the galing yung superstition na yun na malas yung mga black cats? It's so alam because technically this is a European superstition, and I don't know why in Asia we picked it up. But yes. um, but for me, if a black cat passes you, it just means pet it. Oh. <laughs> pet the black cat. <laughs> um, so I had an advocate for black cats saying that you know black cats are, are beautiful. They're beautiful, and we're trying to make it like more fashionable. Like wow, black cats! Because I have a black cat, yeah. Shadow, amongst my eight cats. Eight cats. What is it like? You have having... to catch up. I know, and we're we're girl, we're neighbors, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hello, I live five steps away from you. <laughs> yes, so, yes. So Joey, what's it like having? Because the last time I visited you, sa bahay mo, mm. um, isa pa lang yung nakita ko yung puti. Uh, Ah, uh, si Sweetie. Si Sweetie, oh. Uh, sweetie. Sweetie's, uh, Sweetie's actually adopted from Paws. Mm -hmm. um, Sweetie's my white uh, fur blue-eyed cat. And then that's amongst so many. I have so many like Calico, I have Tabbies, I have the Tuxedo Cat, si Felix. Yeah, he's always outside of the house hanging out with the cars. But yes, and then even... That's Felix the cat. Felix the cat. I know, I'm so inventive with names. When, you're, when your husband naman is masikip yung brief, Felix the cat. <laughs> My husband's also picked up as well. He picked up Coco. Um, yes. So, wow. Eight, eight cats. What I know, crazy cat lady. And also, uh, in your home, uh, magkasama ang pusa at aso. Yes. How did you make that possible? Because people will say it's impossible to have cats and dogs together. Oh my god, it's so possible. They kind of grew up with each other. And even when we have the new kittens come in or the new ones into their house, we just separate the dogs and the other cats. Our, what do you call it? Our amoyin sila? Or oh, oh, amoyin amoyan. Amoyan. Um, so they can get used to their scent. Because in mm. animal world, it's all about it's smell. It's all about scent. Yeah. Mm. Um, so they get used to the scent and they're okay. But they do, they make sama sama. No, it sounds good. Like, sama sama sila sa bahay. Happy world. Parang bigit, the high high. And then, paano yun? Walang di ba siya nag-aaway? 
Um, no, no, man. Nin san, but that's only if one, if a cat is running. It's only because the dogs get excited that there's running. They're still animals excited. Too. It's hunt, just like Juanita, de She loves to play yes. and she likes to hide. She likes to jump because they, they're, they're animals. They like to hunt. They need to be stimulated with this way. So same with the dog. Something goes fast. They got to run after it. Mm. And, but even when they make habulan, it's, it goes nowhere. Okay, but growing up, they, they, they exist in harmony. They do. They sometimes sleep together. Uh, oh, I mean, in the same band. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dep ah. Depends who's, who's, who's okay with each other. They have their moods. They're just like, okay, like human beings, different personalities. One doesn't bully the other, Quare. The cat bullies the dog, or the dog bullies the cat? Actually, it is. It's the cat does bully. The cats do own you. That's the thing, the differences with dogs and cats. Um, the, the, the dog, you own the dog. Yeah. With the cat, the cat owns you. Yeah. Wow. So with POS, what have you been doing? Aside from the awareness campaigns yes. uh, of uh, people having to... Uh, it's better to adopt, right? It's better to pick up... Uh, we, we, promote, uh, we promote adoption from, from the park shelter. Um, and also we promote spay and neuter. Okay, for the people who don't have pets or, or are interested to have a pet, it's interest. It's important to spay or neuter. Yes. What is spaying and neutering? They're the same. Um, the boys, girl cats. The importance of spay and neuter with your cats so they don't produce any more kittens. Most especially for the cat communities, because more kittens mean more, more problems, and people. Not a lot of people are really, you know, uh, happy with having so many cats running around in their communities. You know, Joey, I in one of the uh, uh, villages in Makati. When they see uh, stray cats, it gets picked up by, by the barangay uh, people. And then I go, what happens to them, to them after? Yeah. They get thrown, quote-unquote, thrown by uh, to a certain place where they, they won't be uh, found. I mean, I mean yeah. what's that? Yeah. It's kind of uh, it scary. It is. Uh, they, they take it out of people's sights and they just don't want to know anything about it. But what happens is they probably bring them to a place and they might throw them on the highway or who knows what horrible things what horrible fates they have in store. But what Park promotes is just to spay and neuter, to limit the young kittens, to limit the young kittens. Okay. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So we will talk more about pussy cats and doggies at the Mayan Pugusap and how they live, how, how to shower them with the best love possible. The right parenthood is so important, right? Responsible parenting. Responsible parenting. <laughs> we will talk about that. We will go in thing then. Okay, This hair, I love it. It's debuting the pixie cut of Joey <laughs> Black King. And the last time I saw you with a hair with hair like this, I was in like my teenage uh, years. <laughs> <laughs> so you were watching you uh, on uh, being uh, launched as a as a DJ. <laughs> That's right. Um, I just wanted to go back to shore because you know, like, in this industry, it's always important to keep up with change or be the the purveyor of change. Yes. And I think. Uh, my years of modeling, um, I'm quite adept to doing different looks. And I think it's important to never keep it boring. And for someone in my position... You're never boring, Joey. <laughs> Miss Jamaica copied you. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I was inspired by Miss Jamaica. I was going through all like, the old supermodel photos. And I was looking at Linda Vangelista. And I'm like, oh, I love that look. I love that era. I can think I can still rock it and bring it back to the era that we have now. Totally. I know. Why not? Chocolate. Totally. So, you know, your long hair, you just said, Psh, like that. In different moments of your life, you were able to do that. I've done and every look possible. What's in your head uh, when the hairstylist is chopping your hair? Do it. I do it. it. <laughs> do it to me. Do it to me. It's like a drug. Yeah, you uh, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm open to that. I'm open to. I'm open to the 
artists you work with yes. when it comes to makeup artists and hairstylists. I'm open to their look. That's from years of modeling. But now at this the stage that I'm in, I now call the shots of what I think is great style or what I want to move into or this is the look that I'm going to rock the next few months. I, I, I call the shots now. I love it. And Julie, you calling the shots, you've made your mark on a in Asia. You know, um, you've been hosting uh, all these big events for it's regional. You become a regional star. It's been good. Universe has been very kind. Yes, and uh, when you're in Singapore, uh, presenting an award with some major actor, uh, Asian actor, uh, and all of that, the TV <laughs> <Terry> awards. <Kong. laughs> yeah. Well, what what's it like? You know, a Filipina conquering this side of the world. Well, I don't think of that. <laughs> I don't have the sheer like. Yeah, go I've Philippines! Woohoo! Um, I just always think that it's. But a, I go like that, and I'm like, go, Joey, go Philippines! <laughs> oh, okay. um, I just think that it's, a, it's just an important arena to be amongst uh, peers that you respect. That feeling, being amongst people that you respect and you see. Their level of talent and professionalism. Oh my God, their level of talent. It makes me feel so small, but to be in the same room as them, to be working the same level of them, for me, just makes me think, good job, Joey. What do we have to learn from these, uh, you know, colleagues of yours? You know, um, I always want to work with people that I can learn from, and it's been tried and tested that the people I work with, the more humble you are, I feel like is, is, is more talent you have. I just feel like people who are gracious and humble and respectful to everyone they work with, be it like the crew, um, the artists you work with, you will always work for a long time. And that's what I've learned from everybody, um, everyone, everyone I've worked with. And there's times you work with others that may not have this. Um, and that's just part of it. Everyone's a different flavor in this industry, but what I like to get are the people who I look up to and they are this way, just as like, oh, thank you. It makes me feel like I'm going the right direction. Thank Say you. that I'm humble. <laughs> You're super humble, Joey. No, I'm and thanks with everybody that's here. That's one thing about you, Talaga. I can feel hard your, your humility here. and hard work <laughs> No, but uh, you know, because people always think that uh, it's always pasikatan. Hindi nila alam oh. the game really is patagalan. Oh my goodness! Diba? Well, I think so. I mean, we're still working. Yeah, uh, <laughs> still working. Yeah, but still I want working. I want to have long hair, man. <laughs> For a change, I'll change my hair. They can just do long hair. Ayan. Do it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, de ba? There's always, uh, there's always something you feel appreciative about that you're still yes. working and you're still working with people that you admire. For me, that is hands down always something I will look forward to. And coming home to Manila after your regional stints, you know, after conquering Asia and representing, uh, you know, what, what is it, of course, aside from your family, which is, uh, of course, hail to the king, <laughs> uh, well, you know, when you come back, how, what, what do you, how do you feel when you're back in Manila? Um, <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> diba? Top First down, all, top I, down. Your pet, <laughs> hello, your pets miss you so that's, much, that's I'm sure. That's on Sundays, because you can only do that in the Fort area. If you did that in Edson, it would be coughing. Naka foundation <laughs> day na ganon. It wouldn't be the same. Hmm. Um, First, when I come back home, I'm like, oh, I do miss the fast internet. <laughs> yeah. No, coming home is because uh, our home is our sanctuary. Ian and I have created um, an area for us to thrive and uh, have our little family and hopefully have, you know, another home in the future. For, for them. For, yeah, for, yeah, like a bigger home for I can have chickens and goats. Maybe some of Nadia's elephants. Yeah, uh, wow. <laughs> and 88 cats, di ba? Marami sa kalye, no? Oh my God. Um, but um, home is... That's beautiful. You know the, all these cliche uh, quotes that we grew up with. When we grow wiser, that we realize the beauty in it, no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true because I, I have a lot of quotes in my mind too, and I go, yeah, I used to like. You, you know, are the king of quotes, Tim. There's been many upon a night that you have said some quote, and you've always pulled me, right, Joe, right, Joe. Like I don't know what you just said, but I agree oh. with you. I am tall. I mean, no secret. You see, before Joy and I share the same bed, or the bus in bed, but we go on a major late now. Jo, 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 Jo. This is jo, nothing jo. new to us. Yes, we are used to being in the same bed together. <laughs> this is just me, Tim. Fasty, this is me. Go, Jo, Jo, Jo. This is what I learned. You know what? The world is like this, and the world is like this. <laughs> so, Joey, now um, 
Uh, what have you learned? You know, what does Joey Mead King learn all these years? After all these years, learned about life in itself, or yes, yes. learned. Um, uh, like, oh my God, I don't have anything for you. Um, no, it's for yourself. What did you learn? Ah, uh, being negative uh, is not an emo thing. Just mm -hmm. get rid of it. It's just, it's, it's. I think like. Negativity doesn't do good for anyone, and I think in a certain life, a certain in everyone's life, you go through it. You go through this emo ness, mm -hmm. but the moment you pull yourself out of this state, you realize, oh my God, this is such a waste of time. Um, you can't be in that space. I always think that life is so valuable. You've got to really, um, you have to live it well, live quality well. You find quality as you get older. Things become more important to you. Time becomes more important to you. Thank you so much for allowing your time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the time, I want. time is more important, and you value it, and you value people around you even more. That's I think in my twenties was like carefree, don't care, but nowadays um, time is valuable. <laughs>
Yeah, and Joey, we have something for you by uh, the Coco. Uh, oh, I thank love, you so much. It's my thank first you. quencher. Thank you. Thank you so much by the Coco. Really awesome. Thank you so much, Marit Hotel Manila, for being our home for tonight. And Joey, for making us, uh, you know, realize that, you know, love for, not just for human beings, love and respect for human beings goes hand in hand with love and respect for animals. It's Kanina sa intro ko that we need more people like Joy Mead. If we have more people like Joy Mead, the world will be a much happier place. Not only for humans, but for pets as well. Kagaya na lagi kong sinasabi, dapat laging good vibes para laging good vibes. Kasama si Joy Mead King, her eight cats, and her dogs, and all that. And all the people, and all the cats, and dogs in the foster shelter, we are giving you guys good night.